So my battery died in the GoPro. Some iron in there. I can't even remember what this was reading up at because my battery died in my camera. I had to replace it. I can't remember what the numbers is to give me. I can't remember was it was a pull tab signal or what the heck it was. It's was deep. And I wasn't thinking that it was going to be over here. It's probably going to be a nail. Oh man. Yeah, it's going to be some junk. Yeah, it's a nail. A big old square nail. It wasn't that great of a signal, but um, yeah, this this soil here is just nasty today. Super dry. Okay, I'm definitely gonna go out of that mode. This one sounds scratchy too, it's probably a nail. A lot of iron tones in with it. And once you once you run your simplex for a while, you'll know those iron tones. It's it, some some targets is harder to hear those iron tones in it. Especially if they're like bent nails or something. But uh, small little bits of metal. Some junk there. A little washer of some sort. Just iron. But I gotta make sure because this this place has been beat to death, man. A lot of guys have gotten silver out here, so have I. But there's a lot of iffy signals here. Ooh, that's a nice signal right there. Quarter, right on the surface. Probably right here, baking in the sun. Uh, maybe not, but it's gonna be right near the surface, right there. Shut it up. Right there, not very deep. Right there, right in this clump, right there. It's a quarter. And I don't want to look at my depth meter just to make sure. It's a bicentennial. 1976 bicentennial quarter. So I don't want to look at my depth meter. You know, once you run your simplex for a little while, you'll you'll learn how deep it is just by how loud it is. Right? And how far you how loud it is and how good it's hitting how stable the tones are. And I'm not talking about the numbers because the numbers are always gonna be jumpy on every target, right? I don't know. I'm not ready to dig if he's right now. the ground is so dry right now. I want to dig up mostly coins right now. And that's basically what this coil is for, you know. It's basically a coin hunting coil, you know. But it's been performing, oh, it's a lot of iron there. Hear that? Hear the, the iron tones right at the end of my swing there? Right as I get done swinging over it, it gives me those iron tones right at the end of the clip there. This could be a bottle cap. There's some iron on the top, right up here. 
I can see it in the soil already. And there's something good down here. I think so. I can see some iron in the soil up there. Ooh. There might be some iron down here too. What's that, man? It's something round. Just the shape of a coin, but um, it's not a coin. But that's what I was getting just a little teeny bit of iron tones on there. It's, it's hard to, it's hard to, um, that's why I thought it was a bottle cap because it sounded, sounded like it had a, a nice crisp tone to it, but you get just a little teeny bit of iron tones at the end of my sweeps, at the end of your sweeps there. Oh, this one sounds good and scratchy. I, I will dig this heavy though. Could be a, could be a pencil racer. Ooh, or something like a big root down there. Sweet, get it away from there. Oh yeah, it's reading up all high now. Probably some iron. I wasn't hearing too much iron tones in with this one, so it could be anywhere here, man. It's under the root. That's a really good thing, man. Under the roots are good places for coins to hide out. Ooh, and that is a wicked ass root, man. Oh, this one might take a little bit. Oh, this might be a tough one to get out. Because I see the root goes right there, man. Oh, man. This might be a tough one. Oh, man. If it is a coin, it is in there freaking good, man. Oh, boy. Oh, it's, it's in the corner. It's away from the root. So the roots mess with your pinpointing. Big time. Oh, it's it's going to be deeper. I'm hoping it's a coin, like on its edge or something. And it's not. It's probably some iron. I just heard some crunching going on. Some crunching going on down there. Yep, it's a nail right there. Right on top of that root. Square nail. So I'm surprised Jim hasn't called me yet. Um, we're gonna go to Julia Hill in the morning, so. Oh, this bag. Alrighty. I'm gonna have to call Jim in a couple minutes here, see what he's doing. See that right there, junk. I'm getting a killer signal right there. It's not really a killer signal. It's junk. I'm not gonna dig that one up because I know it's junk. I'll dig up a nephew here in a minute. A lot of iffies here, so in the winter time when it's soft here, I get a lot of silver, man. It's junk. Oh, oh, that sounds killer, man. It's deep, too. This one could be a silver coin right here. This very well could be a silver coin because I rotated, rotated on it and it was still giving me a high tone. 
right? Read in the 90s. This is a good sign. This could be a silver coin right here. My pinpointer will work. Straight down. Straight down. That's always a good sign when you get a really good target right in the center of your plug. Right there, straight down that. Could be a silver coin down there. I'm sure hoping it's gonna be silver because if it is silver, it's gonna be a big coin, man. Oh, it's gonna be something big. Oh, man. Oh, come on, baby. I'm right on top of it. Oh, man. Oh, dude. What the heck is that? Jeez, man, what the heck is this? I'll just turn this off because it's going to take me a minute to get down there. Oh, man. It is really hard down there. There's a lot of rocks, too. Right there. It's coming out. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. What the heck is it going to be? It's going to be a carbon cell for a battery. That's crazy, man. Yep, it's a carbon cell for a battery. It was just the right depth for silver here, too. I found a lot of silver here. And that's just the depth. About seven and a half inches. Alrighty, so I'm going to give Jim a call and see what he's doing right now. I might even... I might even not go over the treehouse today. I might not go over the treehouse today. Because uh, it's a drive over there and the sun's already going down. So when I get there, I only have about 25 minutes. It's a banger right here. It's a banger. It could be a ring. It very well could be a ring right here. Oh man, that is sounding really good. <laughs> right here. Is it another ring? Oh, right here. Is it another ring? Come on, baby. Give me another ring. Nope. It's a zinky right there. Boom. So I did the curb strip, or I did the tear out across the street. They're taking out the sidewalk across the street from this old school. That whole sidewalk over there is coming out, so it's going to be awesome, man. I found a wheat penny over there. But they dug pretty deep, so they took a lot of soil off the top of that. They took a lot of soil off the, the underside of the, the uh, sidewalk itself. So. I drove by the other day. I'm just right down the street from my house. I drove by the other day and I saw them have some cones over there on the corner. And I'm, I'm gonna drive over there and see what they got going on. And they were, they were just got some rock down and packed it. Where is this thing at? It wasn't a very good target to begin with. Yeah, boy. He's right there on the surface. I was way off. Let me shut the thing up. Here. I, was, I don't know how in the hell I was so far off on this one. But, uh... Is it some jewelry? No. Some cancel, I think. Yeah. Yeah, some cancel. I don't know how I was so far off on that one. Probably just got done too much, doing too much talking there. Alrighty, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.